Hi guys and welcome to Chutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the jejunum and the ilium. Let's start off with the jejunum. This is the part of the small intestine between the duodenum and the ilium. It commences at the duodeno jejunal flexure. It is located largely in the umbilical region. It is suspended by mesentery. which differs to the mesentery which suspends the ilium. This mesentery has little fat. It has long vasa recta, which arise from the superior mesenteric artery. and has few arcades. Vasa recta are straight blood vessels which run in the mesentery. Arcades are anastomoses which are connecting these vasa recta. This attachment of the mesentery is referred to as the root of the mesentery. It's quite short. and fan-shaped, with its intestinal edge being longer. It has internal transverse folds, as well as plique. The walls have finger-like projections of mucosa. And these are known as villi. These villi increase the surface area for absorption. The transition between jejunum and ilium is gradual.
So here we have our jejunum, and we've cut it so you can see the transverse folds of the lumen. And we can see that there are quite a lot of them. Up here is the mesentery. And we can see that it has long vasorecta. And very few arcades. The mesentery also has less fat. Let's move on to our ilium. The ilium is the last section of the small intestine. And it terminates at the ileocecal valve. It is located mainly in the lower abdominal region and the pelvic region. Again, it is suspended by mesentery. Which differs to the mesentery suspending the jejunum. It has more fat, shorter vas erecta, and more arcades. The transverse folds gradually decrease and the villi gradually shorten. Here we have the ilium, again cut so you can see the inside of the lumen. You can see that there are fewer transverse folds. The mesentery has more fat. We can see that the vas erecta are shorter. And there are more arcades. And that about wraps it up for the jejunum and the ilium. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe or visit the website to learn more about the human body. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.